Huh, who should we take? Why are you grayed out? I don't know why you're grayed out. That's freaking, that's freaking me out. Um, let's get ambitious. Let's bring Disciple and uh, Mira. Gotta build up that loyalty, you know what I'm saying? This is the only way I know how to do that. Look at all these skill points. Just an embarrassment of skill. Oh, I should modify your armor. That's okay. Okay. Oh. <gasps> it's a canock. Oh my god. Pew, pew, pew. I realize the frustration with not going with another Jedi is I have to buff the party. And really what that means is no one's going to buff the party. The fuck is this thing? The fuck was that even? That's a never one for me. Why'd you fight me? It was just a dumb move. That's what that was. Rump, 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 rump. Uh, let's get super heal. Total well, non really Each party member gets 15 vitality points with one forever charisma, wisdom modifier, and two poison stun effects are neutralized by this power. Was it just like poison effects and stuns? So I unstun them. That seems. <laughs> Fudging good. Okay. Everyone, on the guard. Everyone. A space battle is still going on. The Hawk sensors just picked up a contact heading to the moon. Most of the ship's systems are powered down, so it's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though, or it may be on the other side of the moon. So you might want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Oh, I lost my mouse. Let's fucking go, Malrus. Fucking fight you too. I'll fight everybody. Okay, so I'm starting to feel the pressure. Um, I'm going to record this soon. In relation to when I'm playing it. Nelson has uh, dipped out. For the sake of this recording, I'm going to tell you when. Um, he stopped uh, right after he finished, uh, basically landed on Telos surface. And was just like, you know, we're good. Which is honestly fair. Can't really blame him. I didn't think he'd really You're thinking play. what I'm thinking? These jungles are filled with long, narrow paths. Dumb beasts that just keep charging at you. This place is perfect for mines. If the carcasses were worth anything, you could make a fortune. Or... Just go in and fucking lightsaber them to death. I like your strategy too, though. Um, yeah, so going forward here, we might, uh, speed up some of the things that we do. Still gonna have a good time. Just ended. Oh. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know, you're crushed. I'm crushed. I've already not really been partaking in like all the side activities. Ooh, it's a Duros. Keeps 
changing my stupid forms. You have led us on a very fine chase, human. The battle above was your doing, yes? Our ship is quite damaged now. The Zug brothers. Sorry, but this one's my bounty. So keep those weapon barrels pointed down. Our quarrel is not with you, red maned female. We are far from Nashadan, so are you. Um, why are you hunting me? They should have put a bounty in your head, yes. Profitable amount. My family has accepted the job. There's no way I'm going to surrender to you. Very well then, the bounties are still quite large even if you are damaged and lifeless. Attack my brothers. Oh, that's right, I forgot I have confusion. Exar Coons Light Battle Suit? How the fuck do you have Exar Coons Light Battle Suit? So, now what? Okay, I guess we're good. Kidding, no, we're not. I wonder if maybe they should have made him friendly, but you can attack him. Or like, just, he attacks the enemies and you can still auto-attack him. The best. Let's go Malrus. Be the Malrus. Like support pack needs. Cool. I remember this planet being cool when I played this when I was younger. Uh, hit a Mandalorian anti air turrets for to crash on the outside, and then we lost half of our troops um, to beasts screaming out of the jungle. And the rest are getting hammered by Mandalorian emplacements. We're pinned down, cut off from command, and thumping the big guns hasn't died down for hours. Where are the damn Jedi? Oh, we have to relive, like, the shit. This is, like, this is the shit. This is Star Wars Vietnam. I'm kind of curious if the Xbox version has any of the, um, like, support that this has had. You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Ooh, fun. Let's take care of this. I got it's covering its face. Same. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. Then bring about the termination of hostilities. We really don't have to do this, guys. Systems failing, master. Let's go to this mall race also. There's a door here. Too bad we only take left turns here. I bet somebody finds this really weird that I'm doing this. There's like clearly a door there. And I'm just I'm just not gonna go in. Okay.
Um, let's see. I wonder if dual strike is like a good investment. Um, the times where you don't have teammates are much fewer than the times where you do. So maybe it's like plus two to hit would be really useful. Although it's like, we're, we're going on like super overkill for most of these targets. Yeah, me trying to like speed my way through this game is like pretty incompatible right now. Because um, I recently played through Mass Effect Andromeda and I uh, like didn't interface with most of the game actually. Like didn't pick up a lot of weapons, didn't basically didn't do most of those mechanics. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? Um. What is with Mandalorians on this damn moon? What are you doing on Duxton? We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? Um. Our ship crashed and we were forced to land here. We expected as much. You visit Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. Um. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, you can tell we're different because we have different colored armor. Just need the cute bow at the end. Engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with armor seems like so gnarly. Like hand-to-hand -hand combat alone, fucked. But with armor, extra fucked. Am I getting punched in the face? Probably not cool getting punched in the face while you're wearing a helmet and they hit you with a, like a metal glove woof woof so you're the intruder our sensors picked up your handiwork in space I am Mandalore leader of the Mandalorians wow it sounds like Candorous Um, what is this place? This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Why did you use Duxin? Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Hmm. Trying to get to Onderon. Do you know how I can get there? So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. How can I do that? Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. I'll see what I can do. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. Yeah, I mean, all of the beasts on the way into the camp are just so much. What do you want? Nothing. Oh. I bet I can stealth up there.
Oh shit. Is it normal to lose my stealth? Multi shield generator. What the fuck is that? Oh, that said resistance versus iron. It's like getting stealth was worthwhile. Not really. Right. I still don't use stealth enough to get stealth run, but I'm trying to imagine like situation where you'd have to be in where you would do that. This place reminds me of Jade Empire for some reason. Mandalorian Surgeant. Brawler. Oh, so the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Mm. How did the battle work? walk? You talk with the sergeant. Today is his day to preside over the circle. Each fight is different because the Mandalorian with greater honor dictates the terms of the engagement. But there will be no terms if we fight. Everyone else will deny you your lightsaber and the use of your force. But I want to fight you with all your skill. Victory isn't important in the battle circle. What is important is discovering more about yourself and your opponent. You don't seem as aggressive. This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. Hmm, I'll be going. Okay. Fix it. Oh, the Jedi comes to grace us. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. I'm a real warrior. The Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. I want to find the battle circle. You are new here, so you will fight Davril. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davril, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Okay. This guy doesn't know that I have, like, unarmed specialization. Good hit, good hit. I like the two hands up in the air. It's cute. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. Okay. Ooh. Here to watch a fight or to want to fight. After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quartermaster. For Since Mandalore! he is the challenger, you for get Mandalore! to choose the terms. Hand to hand. 
What would be appropriate? The battle circle is for training. It is best to choose something that will test both of your limits. In this case, swords would be a good choice. It is something neither one of you are completely familiar with, but the choice is ultimately yours to make. Hmm. That's why with swords, as you suggested. An honorable choice. I will send a runner to Kex. Your fight will begin shortly. Oh, they gave me a sword. Nice. Do these lightsaber forms work without a lightsaber? Missed. I get to get like a two handed sword. That's what I, I specialize in. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Big same. Here to watch him. I want to fight. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fight with devil. Just Not fist and foot. Tagrin chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed and absolutely no use of your force. What if it heals me in between every fight? It looks like it does. Do, 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 do. Look how cinematic it is. Dude, I'm missing. Holy shit. How am I missing? Oh my god, blunder of the century. Jeez. You dodge me, what the fuck? Yeah, that, the two-handed where you put both your hands together and you just like slide over to the side. This is close. I do rely on my force powers, fuck. Do another big hit like that and it's over. Got it. So one of the, the things- The match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp. Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. Okay. One of the, so the thing, one of the things that, uh... So the Jedi Order isn't complete. I have studied... Can you vouch for me in the battle circle? I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross, and you'll have your opportunity there. Okay, cool. Um, the handmaiden uh, trains you in um, unarmed combat, basically. I don't know how it extends usefulness beyond sparring or like that, but um, yeah, you get more fighting stuff, I guess. Fighting's cool.
Uh, um, yeah, I have yet to play the Xbox version, which at this point I think I'll probably play a little bit later down the line. I'm gonna try to make sure. <laughs> um, I probably won't stream or record uh, the video game book club stuff beyond this one, like after this one, I'll probably just do it on my own time. Nelson does it on his own time as well. So, um, I don't think it's that crazy. And it's not like we really stream the uh, discussion or anything, so. It's just for posterity, I suppose. Quick save. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to, to, to be ahead next time. Telemetry, telemetry computer isn't working. That's it. Some exposed ass fucking wall. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I might. Who are you? I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways of discipline and battle. And I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. Are you sure he's dead? If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Why do you want his body? Mm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. I'll keep an eye out for the body. Anything I find in the jungle is mine. The Mandalorians will rise again. Quick save. What's up, buddy? All right. Sith's blood. Fixing anything in this rot infested place is an uphill battle. Anything I can help with? This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. I've had some practice restoring computer systems if you need a hand. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least 10 years old. I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Where should I start working on it? Oh, seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. Where can I find a phase pulse converter? We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming cannox ate it. How do you propose I find it? Just gut every cannock you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. It's better be worth it. All right then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Okay, I need a converter. Damn it. Take it. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. Larger beasts? We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. Seconds. I'll keep that in mind. I'll be going now. Bye bye. <laughs> we got this is probably the supply dude bag 
We can do. You hear to gloat over your victories in the battle circle. Save it for someone else. So why are you back? Um, what do you have to sell? Blasters, energy shields, armor, and other fighting gear. All in good condition. Though I doubt you could afford it. Let's see what you have. I actually don't care what your problem is with me. I don't give a fuck. Mmm. It's actually like the different problem. I don't give a fuck about what you have. Okay, so I need to kill some Kenok. Frame rate's really low here for some reason. Can't imagine why that would be. You finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. Why do you want to fight me again? I was too young to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. With our clan scattered, there was no opportunity to Years ago, young Mandalorians would fly point in a basilisk, laying waste to anything before them, at the forefront of battle. But this has been denied me. What little honor I this has been denied me. In the battle circle. This I won't allow. Many Mandalorians have fallen to Jedi. There's no dishonor in that. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. There must be other ways to prove yourself. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas were a force to be feared. Then we shall fight. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle. <laughs> If you head out into the jungle, stay alert. I patrol the keep. I'll be careful. Okay, so let's begin, I guess. Need to kill some Kenox to get this. this whatever, blah, 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 blah. Is this a Kenox? This is the same reason, even though we've just already been fighting some Kenox, I thought he would be a flying enemy. Please convert her core. After gutting one, you found part. You don't know how many more pieces you'll need. Oh, boy. Okay. a good experience. Let's do it. Wait a moment. Do you see that boma over there? The force flows through even these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment. Primal and unsophisticated. I feel it. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. I'll try. Peace control. You came close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perception is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. Can anything done with beasts? With the force, anything is possible. That is the end of the lesson. For Anything's me. possible. You have gained the beast trick.
beast trick, beast trick. Beast trick to touch a creature, uh, making user to see the target falls a will save, the attacking character, the most modifiers are attacking for 30 seconds, direct target one does the play, so the play gets closer and nice with them, okay. Fun. <laughs> Or alternatively, fuck it. Wonderful. Half to do. You saying? Is this a Kenoth or is this a Boma? Like a small one. I think it's a bow If there's one thing that I do want to play, uh, the non modified version of this game, is just to see where things change. Because this. It doesn't feel exactly like what I remember the game being. You there, I, I am in need of your assistance. Are you Kumis? Zargo thought you were dead. I'm Kumis. Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I am just in a difficult situation. What are you doing up there? How can I help? A patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarga told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. What happened? This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pests were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack, so I'd been up here, weaponless, for two days. Hmm. How can I help? Isn't that against the Mandalorian code? You must have cleared a path to the beast coming here. If you take care of the Boma beasts, I can make it to safety. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast, and I will be able to return to camp. Quick save. This battle is joined. He means these ones, right? That that means like an opening. these three dudes. You have left me an opening. You have left me an opening. I was gonna say, like, these dudes seem pretty unassuming, but they're probably, like, actually. They're pretty big, I guess. We talked to this mountain that is apparently Kumis. I'm grateful for your help, stranger. I'm returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please. Even though Mandalorians were your sworn enemy, you would still save one in need. A woman of many levels. The Mandalorian wars ended long ago. They aren't my enemies anymore. I will have to think on what you said. Not my enemy. Fix it. I was assuming that he would release something. I think he just left the charges there. I'm looking for someone that's on patrol. I think. To be worthy in the battle circle. Oops. 
comment about being against Mandalorian code is like pretty hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so good, man. Shit. I don't want to always use dual weapon fighting because it's like, it's just more annoying. But in situations like this, it's so cool because you, you just like destroy. Assemble. Still isn't complete. No kidding. For shy one person. So okay, I'm sure they'll be fine. Skeletal corpse. Oh shit. Armor. We're in combat. Just kidding. Look at this thing, man. Fuck. I think it's the same exact thing, just like a different color palette. But again, it's armor, so should have a Jedi wear it. And then look at armor bonuses. That one just didn't have anything. Put a melee shield on. What's this Oh, wow. You have left me in You have left me in Absolutely fucking large. Uh, it was indeed tough, but you proved stronger. Set your body for a trophy. Nice. Um, just have his proof for your confidence in the guard captain at the entrance of the Mandalorian. Yeah, you guys are like. Green. Oh, great. I just refuse to buy a crystal, all right? It's just like the way that I am. I'm just gonna have to deal. It's the particle effects, the rain. Um, I think you still get bonus attacks with um, just a single, but you hit three times instead of four. It's so strong if you have a really good attack and you can hit. Like, man, it's just like so destructive shit. Fix it. Watch it, Jedi. There's a body over there. A lone Mandalorian. Fresh kill, too. I can't figure the percentage in them still being on this rock. Hmm. He was alone? Most Mandalorians I know are mercenaries, and not the cheap kind. Whoever hired him had a good reason to send him to this jungle. There may be more of them around. Keep your weapon charged. High grade explosives, too. Okay. Probably means key item. I don't know how many of these things you have to do. I would imagine that you don't have to do all of them. Probably only have to do like two of these tasks to prove your worth.
Oh, quick tip. Maybe I'm just unlucky on some of these? Can't tell. Oh, the drop rate of this, like, device is so. Oh, hello. What are you doing out here? It's dangerous for your kind. Uh, what are you hearing? I thought all the patrols had stopped. I am a Mandalorian scout. I don't go on patrol. Mandalorians <laughs> I don't patrol. To track a ship that landed in the area. Hmm. There's a Duros bounty hunter ship deeper in the jungle. No, it wasn't them. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors didn't pick it up. What have you found? Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout and pretty green too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. Well, whoever these visitors are, they don't know their terrain very well. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? I'm always up for a fight. Good to hear it. There's more Dark side points. In the jungle. There's many paths, and I don't want them to slip by. If we spot any scouts, we'll need to take them out fast before they can warn their companions. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts. If you're up for it. I am, I'll find them. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. West. Okay, sure. What are they? I assume that just means this way. What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope his mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait! Did you hear that? That's her! Get her! Dang it. This battle is going Hey, look at that. They saved on it. Milson at one point was asking why I don't take um I didn't take kill droid. That's exactly the situation that I worry about when taking something like kill droid. Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! Everyone attack. <laughs> Well, this is awkward. It's unlikely that there are any more on the jungle paths. Might be a good idea to find Kelborn and see what he's found. Okay. It might be a good idea to do that. I might do that. Together, okay, they didn't attack the other group. I think this place just is kind of like snaky and. I guess nothing. Can't knock. Got to see the sonic bolts or whatever those are. Seeing them track is hilarious. Right, pulse converter. You finally found out if you never have to look at the insides of a Kanak again, it'll be too soon. The pieces look to be in good condition, and Zekka should be able to reassemble them easily enough. Okay. Cool, fun. Quick save. 
We found a detonator, uh, the explosive charger is set around the entrance of cache B-13. Press it. I don't like the sound of that. I think you've just stood up a mine out nest. I mean, whatever, just like fucking kill him. It's cool. Complete destruction. Quick tip. Level up. Who's gonna get more charisma, I guess? I don't know. You can never persuade someone too hard. Let's see, uh, you can actually cause the horrible beast to fight for you. Probably only works on beasts, sentience, and droids are. Well, only I can get it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Let's see. Wonder if someone got hit by that. Oh. I am listening. Does anyone have demolitions? Let's move out. No. I switch characters while we're here. Who has demolitions? Will you have demolitions? Ready? Let's go. Do you have demolitions? I don't remember. You do. Okay. Well, you're just in my party. Fuck disciple. Uh, let's give you more toughness. Probably could give him more in this stat. Or dual strike. Keep forgetting that. He's got a lot of skill points. I need to read what that ability is just, that I got just does. It's like a fist thing. Okay. I'm about to release an interesting competitor in the 3 to 16 uh, attacker's level when using an unarmed attack. This damage stacks with unarmed attacks. Cool. Okay. I think there's just like a. attack modifier with this on him is good because um, nailing the shot seems annoying and hard uh, okay cool These droids are gonna wake up, huh? Get repair? I don't know what your skills are. Repair. Yes. Okay. This, I, he perfectly complements all of the skills that I have. I feel like he should definitely be in my party. And he's not a droid? Like, oh, yes.
Hmm. Can't find any way to activate it. What a bummer. What do you think, security? I bet if we hit them, they'll activate. Gonna figure it out. A lot of damage, but you know, they just do damage. But that's not good. What an exciting room! No other way to do that, though. Shit, it's a brack heavy blaster. To uh, mine that one open. Mandalorian assault rifle. J. Shea mentor robes. Oh, that's what I have. I think that's what gives me the charisma, the mentor perk. It's not like it's, they're not affixes. Like it's like a loot game or something, but I think that's just how that ended up working out. The difference between that one and the other one. Exarcoons, light battle, whatever. Impossible. Yeah, I guess I have to mine that one. Credits. Yeah, crate. Credits. Rodian Deathblade. Rodian Deathblade's a pretty cool band name. Good to go. What's going on? Okay, quick save. So. This will use the deadly frag mine. Set and activated. Okay, cool. And there was one on this side. Set and activated. Insight implant. I wonder what that does. Can't equip it. Will. Um, I think maybe one of these other pistols might be better. Let's see, 4 to 11. What are some of the other things I got? 4 to 11. 2 to 11, but upgradable. But we could stack some cool damage things on that. Cool. Done. Dien.
What else we got here? We have to find that Mandalorian boy we did the patrol with. Just check in with him. I think that's literally everything to be done here. Like, we, that's it. We beat the planet. Completely unintentionally. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Camera tries to use the scouts. They weren't in the mood to talk either. Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? They mentioned something about a colonel. Also seems to be more of them. Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Tobin's the one who opened fire on our ship and forced us to land here. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. Who's General Vaklu? General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. Then don't let me keep you here. I'll see you back in camp then. You might, you might not. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. Nobody meant by maybe you won't see me. It's gonna use the stealth field generator. It's pretty cute. Let me handle this. This fucking stealthing when the animals show up. 